Hey, how's it going? Today I wanted to do a video on how to configure SNMP version 3 on VM VMware ESXi 7.0. Now, SNMP is a protocol that's used on a lot of different networking devices, um, servers, networking gear, anything that you use to uh, monitor um, equipment in your production network. And this uh, protocol using the version 3 it's a lot more secure than what you would typically maybe see in older networks that are using SNMP version 1 or 2. So today I'm going to go ahead and walk through setting this up um, using my VMware lab and just walk through the steps of this uh, blog article. So on LetMeTechYou.com, if you would like to actually walk through the steps yourself, you can follow this blog or this video that I'll be posting on the YouTube channel and updating this blog with as well. So going through, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my VMware environment. So I just have this hosted at my home location. It's running VMware 7.0. And before you can actually SSH into, so you have to set this up uh, through SSH. And before you can do that, you need to make sure that you have SSH turned on. So you go into the actions, services, and you want to make sure this says um, if it says enable secure shell, just go ahead and click that. So I already got that enabled. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this set up. So I'm going to open up my shell or whatever uh, tool that you use the SSH in. You can use putty or anything like that. So I'm going to go SSH and then my user and then IP address. Now, first time you do SSHN, you may get a, a question that asks you if you want to, um, basically, it, if it's an unknown host, it'll add it to its known host file. So basically, you just hit yes on that, put your password in, and then now we're in. So now that we're in, we're going to basically configure S, uh, SNMP. Uh, we're going to create a, configure the engine ID, which is going to be used as the identifier for the agent that you're working with. So, I mean, you could be using uh, solar winds. Um, this could be used if you, basically any monitoring tool that you'll be using. These users will be what you'll use to set up that. So we'll, we'll set up a authentication and privacy protocol. So our SHA-1 and AES-128 encryption uh, methods. And then we're also gonna create our user setup. And then we're also going to uh, set up some targets to allow the, the agent to send traps and informs, things like that. So first things first, let's go ahead and uh, create the engine ID. So if you're following along in the blog article, this is the first step in that process. So basically what we want to do is put the command ex, ESXX CLI. And this um, CLI, you press enter, it's going to show you available namespaces that you can use. So we're going to go... ESX, uh, ESX CLI S system. Then we want to go SNMP and we're going to go set. And then the, and if we press enter on that, oh, actually dash dash help, it's going to give you some information on like what you can set um, in that. So what we're going to do is an engine ID here. So it just must at least be 10 to 32 hexadecimal characters. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. So what I'm going to do is go engine ID and my ID is just going to be one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Press enter. Uh, oop, I think I forgot the extra. There we go. All right. So now that that's set, that's basically, um, that will be the ID for the 10 digit hex plus on a string. Um, so basically now we'll go ahead and set the authentication up. Now the authentication is going to be used to identify the users and their privacy allows for the encryption for the SNMP, SNMP version three messages. Now, although the authentication will be optional, you will need, um, authentication and privacy are optional. You must enable authentication to enable privacy. So I, I'd suggest enabling both of those. So for that command, it's just ex, X, ESX, it's like a tongue twister, ESX, CLI, system, SNMP, set, and then authentication. 
and then the protocol is going to be either SHA-1 or MD-5. I would recommend SHA-1. It's more secure, um, better protection than MD-5. So just do SHA-1. Okay, now that that's set, basically then we want to go into setting our privacy up. So we're going to basically same command, ESXCLI system, SNMP, set, and then privacy, and then that's going to equal AES, and it's either none or AES-128, so we're going to go AES-128. Okay, now that's the first part, so now we've got that done, we basically need to now create our users. Now VMware allows up to five users to be created using um, to access the SNMP version 3, so these new users are going to generate privacy authentication hash values based on the engine ID um, and the privacy password that's set. So basically with that being said, you don't want to change the engine ID or the authentication and privacy protocol once these users are created because it's going to negate those users and they'll have to be recreated. So let's go ahead and um, set create these. So this can be done uh, one of two ways. You can either have these inside of a uh, password file that's stored on the host, and then you can map to that file, or you can actually just put the raw secret in the um, CLI, which we'll do here um, for demo purposes, but you could do it for uh, uh, purposes of not wanting your uh, secrets to pass through the CLI through either automation or just best practices. So for here, ESS, ESX CLI system, SNMP, and then hash, it's going to be raw secret. And then auth authentication hash. We're just going to do VMware at 2022. And then the privilege hash. It's going to be VMware at 2022 as well. So now what you're going to see is it's going to create two hashes for those. So you got their auth hash and then your privilege hash. So now that we got those created, um, we got those basically filled in. If you had to, uh, if you actually had those in a file, you can basically just do. Um, Using the, using the um, you can basically map to those files where they're located at. So now that we have the hash output, let's see here. We're going to basically now that we have the hash configured. Okay, so now we have to configure the users with the user flag. So users um, using my hash that we have here, we're going to actually set these like this here, and they're going to set. So it's going to be users and then admin. Uh, let's see here. Let's do a dash dash help. So we got users. Okay, so it's users. And it's going to be admin. And then now we're going to need the auth hash, which is what we got up here. set that there and then the privilege hash and then priv okay so now the security at the end can be their auth for authentication or priv for authentication and privacy or none for no authentication and privacy so, so we basically configure the user with, um, with basically privilege access um, as an admin now what you want to do is Basically, you can configure up to three SNMP uh, version three targets. Now, you must specify a host name or an IP address of the system receiving the traps or informs to configure a target. So now, what we'll do is here is we'll go. Yes. Now, I'll set this for just a a random IP address on my network that um, I probably won't be using anyway. So I'll just go ahead and do ESXX CLI system SNMP set 
and then we're just going to call this actually if you do dash dash help it gives you the options so we're going to be using v3 targets here so we're going to go v3 targets and then string is going to equal targets and then we're going to do receive the IP address so 192.168.1. let's say 15 and then at 162 user ID security level message type oh so yeah so actually security level should be priv and then and then the, it's actually I had that wrong so user ID is going to be admin priv and then message type is going to be trap So now that's everything you need to basically configure um, SNMPV on VMware ESXi 7.0. Now we're going to make sure that the agent is running by uh, running this command here. Okay, so now that that's running, we're going to go ahead and test this. So we're just going to just test the uh, ESXX CLI system SMP test. Oops, I forgot my. Okay, so now we got one target configured, and then we could try the Git, but I don't think since I, I just threw that to anything, it's not going to bring. Oh, okay. So now you see we got authentication, SHA-1, our engine ID, we got our port, privacy, um, and then our targets. So like I said, you can actually uh, add additional targets if needed. Um, other than that, yeah, that's, that's really it. All you need to do to get these uh, pretty much configured. And basically, you can now add this to your monitoring system. Um, you can basically add this to anything you need to basically grab resource information from your VMware environment. So again, I hope uh, this video helped. Um, if you have any questions in regards to any of the setup or commands I might have shown in today's video, drop a comment. Again, um, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be doing more videos of the sort. If you have any recommendations or questions, let me know and I'll be free to get those uh, be free to uh, be sure to comment on any of those. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.